Good morning everyone. So as you know, these flowers here are sunflowers. So these are obviously sunflowers, I think you all know that. Just a beautiful sight in that morning sun, almost the leaves, you know, kind of translucent with photons. It's an amazing little look, eh? That bright colour of the leaves, beautiful. So I just harvested a few leaves and um, some young leaves and some older leaves and a closed down bud. So after these buds are open, they're not as nice to um, eat. So you want to get the buds while they're nice and closed like that. And then they taste like artichoke. So just a beautiful morning, just wanted to show you that and we're going to go uh, walk back to my tent now and we'll have a little look uh, on the internet because I didn't know you could eat everything on that plant, probably the stem as well then if you're really desperate you could put the stem then in a stir fry. <laughs> the attacks. <laughs> wow, I see that. A backflip. That was a forward flip. It's my little jungle tiger Oro. Look at him. Just flipping, back flipping in excitement. Here's my little camp. So, what we have here are some flowers, or the flower bud. You see, unopened. We have, uh, you know, some smaller leaves here, a bit more delicate, you see, a little bit thinner, be nicer to eat, obviously, and then the really big leaves. So they're not going to be as, as nice to eat, and they're quite, um, you hear that? Quite thick indeed. So what I'll do is I'll just rip off the sides, like, like that. So I'll rip off the side here and I'll just eat this part with less veins. I'll rip off the vein, you don't have to, it's probably better if you keep it, but it's just for texture. Like I will just only put these little parts in and I won't be putting the big vein in, just for texture. Right, and I'm going to put that in a stir fry. <laughs> He's a smart ass look at. And then um, this apparently tastes like artichoke, the uh, unopened bud. So I'm going to rip all that away, even though you can eat it, just again for texture purpose. And uh, I'm going to throw that in the stir fry, just the top, just the head part. So they say that has a little bit of an artichokey taste. So now let's just have a, a real quick look into. Um, 
what the websites are saying because I preloaded them before. Here's one from Livestrong. Let's go back here to Google. This includes the flowers. You like I put, you know, what part of the sunflower plants are edible. This includes the flowers. You can enjoy both the buds of the sunflower plants and the petals of mature blooms. The greens are also edible. Sunflower sprouts are delicate, while the older leaves can be a little tough and fibrous. So that's what I showed you the leaves for. They're definitely quite fibrous. Let's hope this will load without us being online. No, it doesn't want to. One second. Just going to uh, start the internet up just so I can load that page there. That up. Oh, you gotta love the lagging. Just when I go to shoot videos, I get problems with the browser. Alright, here we go. So here we go, tossing butter with a little bit of garlic and salt for a simple vegetable side dish that tastes like artichoke. So that's the buds. So they say that too. That the buds of the sunflower taste a little bit like an artichoke flavour. Obviously you can boil, steam them. I'm going to put it in a, a basically a stir fry, essentially. Oh, and that's how short that article was. Let's go to listrong.com. Okay, so you got got... Um, steps here pulling seedlings from your sunflower patch while they are about six inches tall so just a little seedling plant yeah that would be the best obviously micro greens um, are the best land vegetables because of the pure water the non-contaminated state because they you know they haven't even been in a contaminated environment yet in the soil or anything that might be contaminated so pure seedlings, micro greens are obviously always the best because that pure water, you know, the life force is, you know, pulsing through it. There's no dead cell in it yet. It's all alive and living, right? And also generally the nutrition is, you know, quite good or very good because um, it hasn't expanded yet. So all the same essentially base nutrition for the plant is in there. You know, and that's why seeds are also so packed with like protein and stuff because it's all got to be ready for the plant to grow. So if we catch the micro green in the proper stages, we actually capture that growth, the whole energy of it. And, you know, let alone the pure minerals, the pure water and so on. So micro greens are obviously always the best land vegetable um, they'll also keep you very young that pure water i'm telling you water is not all the same the stuff you get out of the tap you know half of the water in the tap is like you know conglomerate molecules and, and parts per million but this pure water in these little microgreen plants it's very pure like when you say are on a stream climbing a mountain and you just happen to see that little stream going across the path and you just know already you can drink it <laughs> because it's you know it's perfectly running somehow up the top of the mountain it hasn't rained for weeks <laughs> and it's still pure water up there it's that type of thing you know it's the same thing with the microgreens just very very pure water you know it's got all of its constituents it's vortex still it's new it's fresh off the dimensional template <laughs> you might say right anyway so Obviously the microgreens are the best way to get this and they're just saying they're salad or stir fry. Eat the leaves of older plants alone or in a salad. Yeah, I'm going to be kind of stir frying it because the leaves are so thick and you know, it, it's like the microgreens to go back for a second, they're not thick cell walls yet. You know, they're not so fibrous and thick cell walls. And our body, you know, doesn't have the enzyme to break down plant cellulose, just like uh, the, the chitin or chitin with mushrooms. 
the actual cellulose, we don't have an enzyme to break down directly. So that's why we have things like uh, the blenders now, you know, the high powered blenders to really break open all the cells of plants and vegetables and get the nutrition inside and get the inside nutrition out so that we can absorb it straight away. And um, I think that's why I'm going to, you know, stir fry kind of thing, these leaves. Basically, I'm going to cook a rice, boil a rice, and when it gets towards the bottom, I add in the leaves so it doesn't cook the whole 20 minutes with the rice, but the leaves will cook like the last five minutes and just soften them up, basically. Because then when you chew it, you know, you'll notice the difference. It even squelches out, squeezes out all the nutrition. So um, that's the way I'm going to do it. And can't wait to uh, taste that bud. That'll be an interesting new experience. I've never had sunflower uh, bud like that. So they say it tastes a bit artichokey. I'm going to have one bite raw before I uh, put it in there at the end of the video. And then I'll cook the other three quarters of that bud in my stir fry the same way I basically said I'd cook the leaves, throw it in at the end. So they don't burn or anything, it will completely wilt, just so they get a bit soft after a few minutes of cooking. So they say the sunflower petal is bitter, so you can't really eat a whole lot. So this is one of those plants that you have to, you know, put in with something like a stir fry, and you just, it's great because once you know all this knowledge, this is what you're meant to do. You're meant to rotate your greens. When you eat, you know, greens, leafy green vegetables, you're meant to rotate them. You don't always stick to one green, like eat lettuce for the rest of your life or chard or something. Yeah, I, I constantly cycle through as many different greens as I can. Like there's times when I eat grass, you know, the only known plant to soak up all of the minerals, grow everywhere, right? Grass is just everywhere. It's, it's got to be something good about it as well. <laughs> It's not just, you know, take it for granted. So yeah, I always rotate my greens. One week might be spinach if I can get it. The next week might be parsley. Or this week it's now sunflower. I'm going to be cooking sunflower leaves all this week. And that way I, you know, get different nutrition over time, but I also ensure that I absorb properly the nutrition from whatever I'm eating. Because your body builds up resistances just like the Africans in the middle of Africa have built up vitamin D resistance because they're always out in the sun, the body actually built up a resistance to vitamin D. And vitamin D, you know, turns on more of the body than anything else, 30% of the body. They say 10% of our genetics. I say it's 30% when you figure out all the roll-on roll effects. But yeah, still the most out of any food or any uh, nutrition supplement or anything like that, vitamin D the four vitamin D's from the sun turn on more genetics than anything else. Then it's like curcuma at 700, you know, vitamin D is at 3,000 uh, genetic effects or something, so that's 10% of our 30,000 uh, DNA genetics. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, if you move through like this, you get uh, less resistance, so that's why I say rotate your greens more. So here we go, here's a bit of advice. Pick sunflower heads when the green disc at the back of the flower head turns yellow. Place the flower heads in a dry, well-ventilated place. Allow the seeds to mature. So this is like, you know, the mature flower head and you get the seeds as well. Eat sunflower. Remove seeds by rubbing two heads together or rubbing the head with the palm of your hand. Simple. That's what I like about some of these food plants, how easy it is to get your food. Eat sunflower seeds raw or after they've been toasted in 350 degree Fahrenheit oven heat, they reckon. I wouldn't say uh, cook it too, too much. You should be aware of uh, cooking changing molecules. So let's, let's see here if I can get a shot of me eating it. Let's, let's just have a bite like this. I have a feeling I should be removing these outer parts though, but I'm just going to bite into this part here. Let's have a look see. Oh 
Hope you can see me on the camera there. Yeah. Oh, it's not too bad. I was preparing for a, oh, there it is. A really sour taste. Yeah. So that's not, not exactly delicious. <laughs> for me, it's definitely um, something you have to cook. So I'm definitely going to be cooking it. It's not too strong. Oh, there's, de <laughs> there's definitely like a background sour, weird taste, like a, a sour sort of bittery taste, but um, it's not too crazy strong. So, I mean, technically I could do that. And I sense quite a lot of water. It's actually quite a lot of like aqueous sort of content behind it that squeezes out. Because I look and feel it. I look at it and feel it and it looks, you know, a lot drier. But there's actually quite a lot of uh, water there. See that going like a watercolour too, like that darkening oxidisation. But there's also water there. So there you go. Thanks again for donating to keep the channel going and these food plant knowledge videos so everybody can eat better, become mentally healthier then, healthier. Because when you become, you know, eating better, you become like thinking better.